little way to get things started this evening a polka medley on Yay! polka tuesday welcome everybody to the show yes. i see we've got over 1500 people watching right now online that's, that's great. awesome wonderful and we got people in the house too we do literally, literally in our, our house. house yes <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Garrett's going to get the camera on you. So make sure you're not, uh, you didn't bring somebody that your wife doesn't know about, did you? You know <laughs> that we have special guests in the house tonight. We also have our veterans program. And so right now, we're going to bring up our special guest. As you know, here comes Fred Zwick. <laughs> Thank you. 
right, that's the way to go. Some good button box music to get you in the spirit here with the one and only Fred Zwick over here, Polka Hall of Famer Fred Zwick. It's great to have you back, Fred. Thank you, Ted. Thank you, Molly. Yes. And uh, we had to play, those are two button accordion songs that were both written by Canada's Polka King, Walter Ostinick and Ted and Molly. I don't know if you knew this, but Walter has become a regular viewer of your show. We oh. didn't know this. Hey, yes. Walter. Hi, Walter. Thanks for tuning in every week. And for all of his Canadian friends that watch the show with him. Oh, wow, we nice. appreciate that. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in. I know we have a lot of Canadians watching. They make up a, a pretty good percentage of our folks that tune in each week. So thank you for tuning in. Spread the word and, uh, and let everybody else know uh, what we have going on here every Tuesday night. So we have quite an eclectic mix of music put together for you here this evening. And uh, eclectic is probably an understatement. There is yes. a real variety. <laughs> no, I, you know, knowing that you guys are very much into playing a big variety of yes. polka music and all the instruments that Molly plays, she doesn't play the clarinet that much. And I oh, thought, sorry. wouldn't it be fun if we could play a couple hula rye style songs? Oops. Whoop! For, for, for all the folks in the Midwest that uh, are very familiar with this style, which I'm not. Well, and neither am I. Growing up here in Northwest Ohio, we didn't hear a lot of that two clarinet sound like we're going to hear tonight. So, right. so we're playing the Landler first, huh? Yes, we're going to play. A, we're going to play the Schuplatler Landler. Now, Fred, will you be doing your Schuplatling here? Uh -huh. You know, I I fully came here expecting to have to do part of the folk <laughs> dance, and now you're making me play the whole song. There's no time to rest and dance. Oh, we can rearrange this right now and get you out there dancing if you want. I say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you know nothing. <laughs> All right. Okay. Here's the Schuplatler Landler. Yeah, if we look at each other funny before every song, uh, we barely had enough time to run through these. So this is going to be a really eventful evening. Yeah, well, we had an interesting afternoon. We had the power go out. We had a lot of different issues with equipment that we've never had. So we ran through these literally one time this afternoon before uh, I tried to mangle it here this evening. So here we go. One right. called the Shoe Plotler Landler. Shoot Lotler Landler. <laughs> Never out to practice it, but as a shoot Lotler Landler. 
Hope you all enjoyed that. We're going to do another one with the uh, two clarinets, and we're going to pick the tempo up to polka time. So we're going to tell Alisis over here to uh, get in order. So this happens to be one of my favorite uh, hula ride numbers. Um, I remember Ray Dorshner and the Rainbow Valley Dutchman playing it and loving to dance to this number. It's one called Wally's Polka. We'll cut that eight measures out that you put. But, but you gave them more than there's money for. Well, you know, you know, you know yes. for uh, for what they paid to get in, uh, they deserve it. Yes, oh you, right. Goodness. I've been waiting all my life to play that. That's the first time I played it in front of an audience. <laughs> Seriously, so I'm so happy we did it. I hear her singing it in the shower. Yes, it's true. It's very, very true. Okay, folks, uh, it is now time to do something that I'm very, very excited about, and um, that is our tribute to our veterans. With tomorrow being Veterans Day. Um, we want to do something special for our veterans. So I asked veterans to send in their information. So a picture and a little bit about um, their service. And then additional to veterans, I had um, uh, service uh, women and men also send in their information. So though they're not quite, they're not considered a veteran yet, and tomorrow is Veterans Day, there's never a, never a bad day to say thank you. So I've included all those um, men and women, both serving and the veterans, and I really, really hope you enjoy this tribute to our veterans.
everything you've done for me and my country. Thank you for your service. I just wanted to take this time to thank all the veterans out there that have helped this country. Thank you for your service. To all the active military personnel and veterans out there, thank you for your service. To all our military personnel out there, past and present, thank you for your service. Thank you very much for your service. Really, thank you. a Coast Guard song. That song was not in our medley along with our pictures and I thought it was very important that we play that song today as well. Now uh, we did our best. I think about 170 um, veterans made it into that slideshow that you just saw. We hope you enjoyed it. Um, there is a very good chance something came in and got caught in a spam mail, which I'm always trying to catch it, or got lost in the mail or still is coming. So I apologize if there was anybody missing. Trust me, that was definitely not any intention of ours. And honestly, if we still get it, I will, I'm going to do a part two next week if it got caught in a spam or something like that. Because I definitely want all of you to feel appreciated because we can't thank you enough. And this was just one thing we could do to show our appreciation for you. It really is rather impressive, Molly. You spent uh, 20, how many hours was it? 20, 26. 26 hours putting together all of that information with all of the different uh, uh, pictures that got sent in via email, via the postal mail, uh, texts. E um, I think that was pretty much the majority of it. Yeah. Getting all the information, putting it all together. So thank you, Molly, for oh, uh, doing welcome. that really neat thing. You are very Love welcome. Love to see all those old pictures. You know, when she was putting it together, what she kept doing is she would text me uh, as I was working here around the house, and she'd go, oh, look at this one. Oh, look at this one. And it's just so, uh, so cool to see all the young guys, you know, before they went into the service. And women. And women, yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, so back to polka time. For those that are wanting more patriotic mu music, we do have that coming a little further on in the show. But right now we're going to get back into a couple of requests I believe Fred got to play. Th huh? This one actually never came out on uh, a CD. Okay. Uh, it's, it, just to show you how old I am, it came out on a cassette only. <gasps> That's how old you are? It doesn't go back to an 8-track. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> okay oh, let's goodness. play this is the dilemma of most musicians listen to the words it's the squeeze me polka squeeze nothing but my accordion its bellows would be shaken its buttons i would press but the sound i got from squeezing it was what i liked the best i gave too much attention to my accordion you see my baby said why squeeze that when you could be squeezing me the sounds you make are lovely they went so clear and true but you will see by squeezing me that i make music too ha -ha! I could never lose her or my polka band I knew she was unhappy so what was I to do so I bought her an accordion and now she squeezes too oh, da -dee -da -dee -da -dee -da.
squeeze me polka. That's the second squeeze me polka we've played this evening. That is true. I didn't even think about that until oh, just now. I thought you totally did that on purpose. No, I totally didn't. Wait a minute. The first one is actually called Squeeze Your Acordine. Oh. Not on our CD. It's called Squeeze Me. We renamed it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's a song that we were asked to learn for the Millers. Doc and Dorothy Miller like this song, and they asked this several weeks back. We said, hmm, we don't know it. We got to learn it. And along comes Fred and says, I'll teach you. So he sent us music. He hasn't taught us it yet, but he sent us some music. So we're going to get this song, and especially in for once again for Doc and Dorothy Miller, our friends from Ohio. And all the folks that I'm watching the comments go by that are kind of expecting me to play something Slovenian style. And this is the Iron Mike Polka, Pecan and Tree Bar. It's a nice little yeah, tip there, yeah. Yeah, it's to a certain extent it's quite simple, but it's got a drive, you know, a drive in it. So it's good. Very, very good. I especially I love, you know, when you get somebody who plays that good Slovenian style like you do, Fred, and you add a little bellow shake behind it or the button box with the bellow shake. There's just something about it that just moves you. Yeah. What? Hallelujah. I like it. You like bellow shaking, Ted? Well, I, no. I just think it works well, you know, that's all. No, it does. It does. It has gives it an extra little push and energy in there. Well, folks, it is time to say happy birthday to all our friends out there celebrating birthdays. Well, first of all, in the house, we got Joanne Kubiak celebrating 60 years. She's, you know, Garrett, why don't you put the camera on Joanne one more time? She's right over there celebrating her birthday. There she is. And we in the house, we also have Mr. Han. I'm sorry, I, don't, I didn't catch your first Dutch, name. Dutch. Dutch Han over there celebrating his birthday tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. All right, and everyone else celebrating a birthday, we got Joe, Harry, Don, Caroline, uh, Greg, Kathy, Sergio, Paul, and Arnold Busta. That'd be my uncle. He's the one celebrating the big A-O. That'd be Arnie. So I'm going to sing them all happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Joanne Butch, Joe, Harry, Don, Carolyn, Greg, Kathy, Sergio, Paul, and Arnie. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday 
birthday to all our friends celebrating birthdays out there. You know, I mentioned a little bit earlier that we have Fred Zwick CDs uh, for sale. We have eight of them for sale on the website, and so you can check those out at any time along with our CDs and um, pick out one you like. You can also buy the Super Pack. That's also available for Fred Zwick CDs. And... Um, we're ready to do something oh, different. Oh, wow. I had no idea you guys were ready already. Oh, yes. Okay. We're, you know, we're going to feature Fred is a uh, Polka Hall of Famer. He was inducted to the International Polka Hall of Fame. Uh, how many years ago was that, Fred? Well, it was 2017. 2017. Molly was inducted in 2018, and you were inducted in 2019, if yeah. I have that correctly. I you believe do so. have it correct. Yeah. Usually you have your polka trivia down. <laughs> Usually. Yes, that's, I, that's, that's what I, I get a real kick out of some of the stories. You know, Fred knows a lot of uh, polka history, things that happen like in the studios. Um, like, for example, could you tell us right now, like maybe one old Yankovic story about a song, like, for example, that he wanted to record and they said no? Isn't there a story something along those well, lines? Th that story is just because um, Columbia Records did not want Frank to record just because. But the, the funny thing, uh, I heard this on another show a couple weeks ago where the uh, Joe Baritis announced, here's Roseanne Polka number two, and it was Frankie's Polka. Well, Columbia wow. Records, somehow when they released the 45, got the labels confused or backwards or something and put the wrong title with the wrong song. So. <laughs> wow. Hmm. But Columbia did not want Frank to record. Just because. Just because, yeah. and, but he did. In one take, because they were they had like uh, five minutes left in the session or something like ah. that. And it came, went out, to, came on, or went to went on to be a big hit, like one of the most famous polkas of all time. How about that? Yeah. See now, who didn't? Who knew that? Not I. Yeah. Not so I. not only are we trying to entertain you, we're trying to educate you. Educate. Educate y'all. Right. Well, we're gonna feature Fred right now on a solo. We had a request to do this song, uh, and we're gonna feature Fred. I'm gonna just stand back and enjoy. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Myron, for that lovely accordion solo. And now it's time for a word from Jared Dahl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Great that job, was so Fred. good. We were Okay, so we had a request for that song, and they said we want it done with bellow shaking. And uh, both the guys were like, whoa, that's a hard one to bellow yeah. shake. And Fred just pulled it off. Very good. Very good. <laughs> oh, oh, lady of Spain. All right, yeah, we're going to do a little song that actually I got a record with Fred a few years back on the Molly B Polka Party on RFD TV in 2011. Um, in that month of August, we were up at Frankie Muth at the Summer Music Festival, and that is where I got to sing this song with Fred Zwick. It's one called What a Little Polka Can Do. And, and I'd like to say, too, this is a kind of the recording I've done that's possibly the most well known of our recordings. And when I was inducted, 
into both the Cleveland Style Polka Hall of Fame and the IPA. This was my walk-on music, so oh, in a lot of respect. Walk on? You know, walk around? Well, don't walk off. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. On, on anything other than accordion and uh, and button box for the most yes. time when he's playing with his band, the International Sound Machine. But uh, yeah. he uh, graduated with a performance degree on clarinet, no, something like that. No, actually, both of my degrees are in music education. But oh. the the one thing, and I think I might have mentioned this when I was here before, when I did my master's at Cleveland State, I did get to study clarinet with one of the Cleveland Orchestra members. So uh, it's kind of very humbling. You know, to think you're pretty good, and then you sit in a room with a world-class clarinet player and hear the guy play, and it's like, wow, okay, this is (laughs) what I should be sounding like. (laughs) All right, Fred, you did so well. We're going to give you a little bit of a break and hear from the Booster Boys. This isn't a break. This is entertainment. (laughs) Jaden, did you hear about the giant cheese factory in France that had an explosion? What? Yeah, there was nothing left but... Debris. <laughs> what do you call a woman with one leg shorter than the other? Hmm. I mean. <laughs> hey, Jaden. What do you call a Spanish pig? Carnitas. Por qué? <laughs> What subject do chickens study in school? Cooking class? Nope. Economics. <laughs> oh, those boosters.
Musa boys are funny. I get to claim them as my nephews. <laughs> They are, they're, they're neat, they're fun, and um, they're always looking for more jokes. So if you have jokes, we are collecting their mail here. So let me give you that address, and you can send it. You can send your fan mail to them as well. They love fan mail. They have pen pals now. They've gotten little trinkets in the mail, and they just think it is awesome. So if you want to make two little boys happy, send them a note and say, we enjoy your jokes, and you'll make their day. You really, really will. Um, I want to let you folks know about a little special we have going today. And tomorrow, we release a song called A Day to Say Thank You. And it is available on our website, A Day to Say Thank You. And for today and tomorrow, it is $3. So you can check that out on our website, mollyb.com. And you can get your $3 CD. That special is good through tomorrow. It's a song that we wrote for the movie The Mule in a scene where we are at a VFW thanking the veterans and it's a song that we are very blessed to be able to play again and again at our live performances. And once again, tonight we're gonna be playing that song as well. By request, we're starting one called Concertina Cocktail. For all you Concertina fans out there, we sure hope you enjoy this. Tina, very good job. Ooh, he doesn't we do this very often. We faked our way through it, didn't we? He does not do this very often. Every now and then, he'll pick up the concertina and play, and it's so pretty. So we're. Uh, I know that Molly likes that Dutchman style concertina music. Yes. Yeah, so what's going to happen uh, now? And she grew up in the land of tubas and Hangel concertinas. I did. Fortunately for us, we have both. Yes. Today we have both. We both. Yes, we have Otto the Invisible Tuba Player. Oh, Fred. There it is. Yep. <laughs> so we're going to give you a little bit of... 
Dutchman style. As Dutchman style is what we can make it with Alice this year. Okay. Um, and uh, we're going to do a instrumental song for our friends down in the Lipsick area. Okay. We're going to do one called the Gary's Polka. All right. You're not talking about the Osbournes, are you? Sure. The Osbournes are celebrating their 51st anniversary. So happy anniversary to you. They are one of those families that we are so, so thankful for. Because when dancers are going on, they bring their, well, they brought their kids. Let's put it that way. And now their kids bring their kids. So we have three generations at all our dances in the area. They even came up to Medina, Minnesota when we had a Molly B. Polka party taping up there. They've come to Wisconsin with their family. Um, they've, they've come, they follow us down to Texas and all around. So for the Osbournes, Jed and Mary. Jed was one of our veterans also on the video earlier today. Here's one called the Gary's Polka. I forgot I was running the drummer. <laughs> Running Al Isis, our drummer. And Otto, the invisible tuba player. And Otto, the invisible tuba player. That's right. Okay, we are going to get Fred set up over here to do one of his most popular waltzes. It's called the second waltz. He recorded it. Now, this one is right, because we had this discussion when the boys were telling their jokes. This one is actually on the CD. Um, people request it all the time. It's unique. It's beautiful. It's that Viennese style waltz that you don't hear a lot of polka bands always play. Um, but Fred surely does, and he does a very good job with it. Um, so we're going to put Fred on camera in a moment, and we're going to play that yeah. song called The Second Waltz. Also, don't forget, folks, we do have our $3 special on our CD. Also, there is something new we've got going on. Okay, so you already know we do the private parties for you if you are interested. And everyone who's gotten a private party is, has loved it. They said we have exceeded their expectations. Well, we now have something new for you, and that is we can do just a single song. So with Christmas season coming up, you can choose a Christmas song, or you can choose one of your favorites, and we perform it for you. We send you a link, and it's there for you to enjoy and if it's your birthday, um, we will also add happy birthday to that video as well. So this is on mollyb.com. Just look for that picture, and you can order a song to send to you if you don't want to order an entire party. Uh, and that um, is something for us to do for you. It's a way we can continue to share our gifts and, uh, yeah, have some good times with you. Are you One.
Okay, here's where everybody sings along. something like that on the show. I don't think uh, you've like, ever had... No, not like that. Yeah, and Fred's got the strings going. He, Besides the tuba, he has strings in there. You bring everything. You're like an orchestra of your own. Brought all my toys. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to do a special waltz right now. We're going to uh, do a... Uh, we're going to feature Fred, actually, over here on the vocals. And uh, Fred is celebrating uh, tomorrow a very special occasion. What might that yes. be? Right. Marilyn and I are celebrating our... 13th anniversary. We were married on 11 11 07, and Marilyn M is the 13th letter in the alphabet, and it's our 13th anniversary. This is a song that she really likes, and we're going to sing it in the German language for you. One of the popular songs is Aber dich gibt's nur einmal für mich, or But You're the Only One for Me, Honey Bunch. All right, so before we play that song, I want to say happy anniversary to all the folks out there celebrating their anniversary. There is quite a few today. We've got Bob and Nancy, Jason and Jenny, Richard and Vicki, Arnold and Rosemary, Julianne and Barbara, Jed and Mary, Lisa and Brett, Fred and Marilyn, as Fred has already said, Tom and Pam, Frank and Carol celebrating 60 years. And we got Tom and Terry also celebrating 60 years. How wonderful. Congratulations to all our friends out there celebrating an anniversary. All right. I think we're about ready. This is a beautiful number. We surely hope you enjoy it. Es gibt Millionen von Sternen. Unsere Stadt, sie hat tausend Laternen. Gut und Geld gibt es viel auf der Welt. Aber dich gibt's nur einmal für mich. Es gibt Tausend Lippen, die küssen und Pärchen, die Tränen sich müssen. Freude und Leid gibt es zu jeder Zeit, aber die gibt's nur einmal für mich. Schon der Gedanke, dass ich dich einmal für Dass dich ein anderer Mann einmal sein eigen nennt. Es macht mich traurig, weil du für mich die Erfüllen bist. Was wäre die Welt für mich ohne dich? Es blühen viele Blumen im Garten. Viele Mädchen, die warten, Freude und Leid gibt es zu jeder Zeit. Aber dich gibt's nur einmal für mich. Schon der Gedanke, dass ich dich einmal verlieren könnte. Dass dich ein anderer Mann einmal sein eigen nennt. Es macht mich traurig, weil du für mich die Erfüllung bist. Was wäre die Welt für mich ohne dich? Es gibt sie 
jeden Wunder der Erde. Tausend Schiffe fahren über die Meere. Gut und Geld gibt es viel auf der Welt. Aber dich gibt's nur einmal für mich. Gibt's nur einmal für mich, aber dich gibt's nur einmal für mich. But you're the only one for me, for my wife on our anniversary. Happy anniversary, Fred, and uh, to the lovely wife, the Frau at home, as you say. Yes. <laughs> Okay, hey, so can, yes. Can we do my game while okay, you guys figure Fred. out what we're going to do? That's, that's what we'll do. We'll do your game. We'll include it. I'm just worried about losing because okay. Ted's really good at trivia. With this. I'm going to ask you a question about oh. Ted. Oh, okay. And then Ted a question about Molly. Oh, and then I have this one. is oh. not going to end well. This is worse than okay. the, da worse than the you, dating Fred, game. You know, I have to live with her, right? I get these questions wrong. Wait, wait, wait. Have to live with me? I mean, I get to. Live with me? But if I get these questions <laughs> wrong, I may have to find somewhere else <laughs> to live. <laughs> Where am I going to live when <laughs> I get home? Oh, dear. All right, dear. All right Molly. Okay, I'm ready. Molly. I'm ready, yes. No, let me start with Ted. Okay, uh -oh. you start with Ted. I was getting my cord list because it's cooler. If right. Does Molly have a favorite musician or singer? Mm. Well, favorite, favorite? I know uh, uh, Renee Fleming would be up there. Josh Groban would be up there. Um. <laughs> okay, Fred, who is one of my favorite singers more than that? Tell them. Well, th what came to my mind was Julie Andrews. Yes, thank you. Okay. Oh, <laughs> duh, yes. <laughs> oh, Fred. It's funny how you don't remember those things when you're on the spot like this. Okay, okay score so, is still 0-0. Zero, zero. So, Molly. Okay. Yes. Does Ted have a favorite song? It doesn't have to be a polka, just a favorite song. Oh. It's not Feliz Navidad, I can tell you that. Because that gets in his head. Should I try it for you? Feliz Navidad. Come on. Really? Feliz Na okay, so it's not that song. Um, you know, there's, there's several that pop in. He's like, oh, I really like Such that song. Is. So, Give them all well, like, you like, or no, I like Last Dance. Um, let's see here. What do you like? I don't know. Looks like we're tied at 0-0. Zero, zero. Shoot. Okay. <laughs> Do you want not do, good. Do you want to uh, just tell anybody what your favorite song might have been? I actually don't have a favorite song. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I have I several. Think, I think I should get a point for that one. You didn't answer. But you didn't have an answer. <laughs> well, no answer you, is the answer. I, I just gave myself a point. Is that okay? Am I hosting Family Feud here? <laughs> it could be. <laughs> yes, thank you. Now, thank you. Yeah. So the last question for both of you. Since yes. About a month ago, you, uh, you celebrated your anniversary. We did. Okay. You were married in 2011. Yes. Do you know what I was doing while you went to the Caribbean for your wedding and your honeymoon? I was working on the arrangements for the very first, first Molly B. Christmas, Christmas show. Christmas special, yes. Uh, and you guys were gone and I was on my own. All right. Well, on my scoreboard, we didn't get very far, but good game, Fred. <laughs> okay, Ted. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. I, I really want to do this slow song, um, and it's kind of fitting because it dates back to the era of uh, our, I believe our World War II folks uh, out there. And it's a song that we played. Is that right? Yes. But speaking of, one of our veterans did not get his information in. But Glenn Kessler is out there, served many, many years on the Air Force. He is well in his 90s, a World War II vet. Um, so this is going to especially go out for him. We met him this uh, last winter. Sweet, sweet man. Watches the show all the time from Florida. So here's a song that Ted has really grown to like. Like he said, it gained its popularity during World War II. It's one called We'll Meet Again. Like you always do 
like that song. It is a neat song. And, you know, our friends at Urians are the people that turned me on to this song, and I'm not even sure how I missed it all these years. But it is. It's a great song, and it's so appropriate because, you know what, we will meet you all in public again someday, and we, we know that. We just don't know exactly when it's going to happen. We just know we are going to enjoy that moment, that great reunion that we're all going to get at some time. And um, until then, you'll always be in our hearts and, and on our screen because you're writing comments, and we see you, and you see us, and we're going to keep this going as long as we can. Um, right now, we have gigs being um, canceled in February, April, and May already. Um, some are holding on, but we have nothing at least until the month of February at this time. We'll be here on Tuesdays, and we hope you sure all are too. Um, we want to remind you folks that uh, this, this was our job, is our job, and we are here by our free will, and we, we will be on Tuesdays, and it's really important for us for you to like and share and tell other people what we're doing. And if you want a tip, this is a time of, uh, of the year or a season that we are not turning them down. Uh, we are accepting and tips in the mail if that is something you want to do. We are also are accepting tips on Venmo and PayPal. And, of course, you can always go to our website as well. And, um, once again, this is our free offering to you. But sometimes people do like to tip. So, like I said, we're not turning it down in this season. And we do thank all of you. Um, for those that have chosen to tip, for those that simply tune in and every week, for those that share. Uh, we're just grateful to have you all in our lives one way or another, even though we don't really get to be united together in a same area. All right, so we have a little medley of uh, patriotic tunes. I promised you we'll, we were going to play. We're going to start with a song we recorded for The Mule. And yeah, this is a song. It's actually one of the, uh, the only song that Molly and I to date have co-written. Uh, Molly got a phone call from uh, Warner Brothers Studios back a couple years ago, and they were looking for a uh, looking for a uh, specific lady to be in a movie. And they, the director is a big fan of Molly's, and uh, so, uh, anyways, uh, we wrote this song for the movie. You might see it in a movie called The Mule. Here's one uh, dedicated to all of our vets out there. It's one called A Day to Say Thank You.
America. God bless all of you around the world. Once again, we thank all our veterans for all you have done for us. <laughs> 